Namaste, my dear tribe of Gaia. I wish to speak to you about mudras that can be used in general, but also specifically for the 11-11-11 meditation which has been given, which is activating your angelic higher self. I begin all meditations in Chin Mudra, where your four fingers and thumbs are touching. This keeps an energy flow through your body so that instead of potentially losing your energy out of your fingers, that circuit which is made brings energy continuously back into your heart. Your arms, of course, and hands are connected into your heart chakra. And what you do with your arms and hands is very relevant in meditation. So in the classic Chin Mudra, you would have your hands facing down on your knees. But when you lift your hands up, you are in a state of receptivity and openness to receiving the love and abundance of spirit that you connect with as you're meditating. When you open your cosmic and star portals, you can direct your hands in this way so as to assist you in making that connection through the chakra at the top of your aura and through the chakra at the bottom of your aura. So you can use this dual direction mudra either when activating the prana tube or when opening the cosmic and earth star portals. If it assists you, you have to experiment and see if it assists you. There is a diamond mudra which is very useful in grounding, in helping you to ground. So this diamond has a longer half and a shorter half. At the moment I would be connecting more upwards because the longer half is pointing up. When you direct your four fingers down like this from your belly, from the second chakra in the belly where you're sending your grounding cord from, you're directing energy down into the heart of Gaia, into her magnificent magnetic core crystal. When you are opening the one heart, which is a fusion of Anahata, the personal heart, which you use all the time to give and receive love to other human beings and sentient beings. When you fuse this with a higher heart, which my guides call Amun, the hidden one, which is a new heart chakra, which is designed to connect us as human beings with all other beings on our planet in a state of unconditional love. So it's a transpersonal chakra. It's not one of the conventional seven chakras. And it has awakened in us as the energies shift into an age of light. When you fuse these two into the one heart, it is very useful to use this mudra. It signifies a diamond and a heart within the diamond. This diamond reminds you and your body of the diamond crystalline like nature of the higher heart and of the one heart. And the heart shape is cute aside from anything else, but it brings you into that love vibration as well. So when you begin to breathe through the prana tube into the one heart, it can assist you to do this mudra in order to bring your awareness into that place. 
when you're breathing through your prana tube into your one heart, you then begin to feel your angelic wings expanding from the back of your heart chakra into your aura. And so you can spread your wings to signify that your, your, the back of your heart chakra is opening. And it doesn't matter whether you keep your longest finger touching to keep the diamond there or whether you spread your fingers. That is a lovely mudra to signify the one heart with wings. Also signifying that as our one heart is activated, so that love is being sent to all sentient beings. As you know, when we transform our own consciousness, when we become enlightened beings, when we move into the love vibration of all that is, the love vibration of Source itself, we automatically affect all other beings on our planet. We automatically bring Christ consciousness, which is the consciousness of unconditional love for all, onto our dear planet. We seed it in terror. And through doing this, we enable all those on the earth plane to achieve the state more easily. It has always been the way that our own transformation into light and love is what assists all others. Namaste.